Fox Sports Florida. Straight ahead on the Ultimate High School Sports Show, when the smoke finally cleared in Madison County, the Cowboys and coach Frankie Carroll wanted another postseason trip to Orlando. But legendary coach Corky Rogers and his Bulls Bulldogs came into Boot Hill Stadium on their own playoff mission. Deron Carter fully focused on helping the St. Thomas Aquinas Raiders defend their Class 5A state championship, plus a returning soccer champion, Charlotte Sumrall, who leaves it all out on the field for the Nice Panthers next on the Ultimate High School Sports Show. Stadium on the campus of Madison County High School, home of the defending state champion, Cowboys. And hello, everybody. I'm Joby Smith. My partner, Jeremy Beloit, is on assignment around the state covering other playoff games. And we couldn't have scripted it any better with both Madison County and Bulls coming in undefeated and ranked number one and two in Florida Class 2A. Of course, when you take a look at why both of these programs are so successful, you've got to start with the coaching staffs and the Bulldogs led by Florida's winningest high school football coach, Corky Rogers, looking for Bulls' ninth state title, three of them coming since 2002, and that's when Coach Frankie Carroll took over the state champion Cowboys, who won it back in 2001 and again in 2007. Madison County, the seventh ranked team in the country by USA Today, obviously looking to repeat and take home the crown on December 13th in Orlando. But first, the Cowboys defense would have to contain one of the best two-back tandems in the state, senior and two-lane bound Stephen Barnett, who loves to run inside for tough yardage off the trap play, and the junior, Jawan Jamison, who takes it outside and tears up plenty of yardage in that wing tee attack. Juwan Jamison packs a lot of muscle on his 5'9", 195-pound frame, but the pure quickness and speed that he brings to the game of football has enabled him to become one of the most highly sought-after junior running backs in the country. Obviously, Jamison letting his block sit up, but nobody touched him. Bulls head coach Corky Rogers has been grooming Jamison since he transferred from Bradford after his freshman year. Number two is a true compliment to senior and Tulane bound Stephen Barnett in Bulls' explosive one-two backfield combination. He does a sweep, which is more to the outside. So, you know, if you stop the trap, the sweep opens. If you stop the sweep, the trap opens. So, you know, you can't really stop it. When I came here my first year, Steve was like my brother. He was like a mentor. He taught me most of the players coming in because I was young. I didn't know the system. He helped me out, which is tight. One compliments the other. It's hard for those linebackers to stay inside and stop the trap and also be outside and stop the sweep. So when one's working, the other one usually isn't. But you got to have both in order to be a decent football team. Great instincts and cutting ability are evident every time he touches a football. And one of the best attributes that Jamison has as a runner is the way he can see the entire field. Really, you just got to have vision. You got to be able to see the cutback if you are going to cut back. Mainly, I try to get to the outside, but if I can't, I try to make a hard cut and try to get back across the field and use my speed to outrun everyone. A real challenge for Jamison came following an ankle injury suffered during last year's Class 2A regional final loss at South Sumter. I've hurt my ankle before. I could have just twisted it or sprained it, and then to get surgery on it, like it scared me a lot because I need my ankle as a running back. I need to make moves and get down the field. People don't quite realize the injury he sustained in our second round of our playoffs when we got beat last year, and he had pins put in his ankle and it was in there for quite a while I think he's just coming back into his own I see the speed starting to pick back up and the confidence starting to get there and I think if we're going to make uh, any kind of run to win this district and to, to go on uh, we've got to have him playing at a high level and I think he's just starting to get there I just trained hard rehab hard and I'm back On the other side, the Cowboys feature two of the best skilled running backs, perhaps in the country, in Florida State commit senior Chris Thompson, who's expected to be one of the top all-purpose runners in college football when he finally hits the field in Tallahassee next fall. Thompson came into this state semifinal dinged up, and certainly the biggest blow to the Madison County offense was the loss of their leading rusher, senior Corey Akins, who has to undergo surgery on his left knee following a 251-yard four-touchdown performance in that 35-28 playoff win at Pensacola Catholic. 
when I first got home, like when I walked to the sideline, I thought everything was okay because I was walking on it. Well, I put a little press on it, the pain was easing off, but as it got worse, later on down the line, it just started hurting, they were balling up. Aikens provided a lot of power and speed that complemented Thompson's explosive running style, so the Cowboy coaching staff made some offensive adjustments throughout the week, inserting number three, Jordan Johnson, who came back from an injury suffered against Tallahassee Gabby on national TV earlier this season. Johnson is senior, yeah, subbing for yeah. Aikens in that fullback spot, and they're also counting on two exciting runners, junior Xavier Brown, who really had his coming out party in that come from behind win at Bartram Trail, and the super sophomore, Martarius McDaniel, to help step up after to getting plenty of work helping Madison win 24 straight games. Before the game, the Cowboys took some time to fuel up thanks to some big time community support that takes turns feeding the team throughout the season. And just like they did with the great meal, it was time to mentally digest what was most important heading into what was expected to be one of the toughest Kurt Ogg battles of the 2008 season. Football is a game of blocking and tackling and wanting it in heart. It takes something to play football. Here's what I'm telling you. You are the home of the damn line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guts in God, curd all style, and you represent the line every time you go on that football field. And the line is Madison County football. They are one and the same. And what we take dead aim on, what it really does mean, cowboy football. Four quarters time, 12 minutes. We're going to have the guts to keep doing it no matter what happens. And when the gun goes off at the end of this ball game, just like that dang old cur dog out there, we going to be there, son. You hear me? Yes, we have come to play and play smart, and that is cowboy football. Now let's play like champions. <laughs> 